Hey there, space enthusiasts. Get ready to blast off into the cosmos with us. Welcome to Spaceverse, where the universe is our playground and curiosity knows no bounds. Join us on an interstellar adventure as we dive into the depths of space, uncovering its mysteries and marvels. From the secrets of black holes to the landscapes of alien worlds, we're here to ignite your imagination and expand your cosmic horizons. With mind-blowing visuals, expert insights, and the thrill of exploration, Spaceverse is your ticket to the ultimate cosmic journey. So strap in, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on an epic voyage together into the vast unknown of Spaceverse. Something really surprising just happened. Scientists found out that a star they thought was dead is actually showing signs of life again. They used a special tool called a radio telescope to detect strange signals coming from it. This star, called XTJ 1810197, 10 is super strong and has one of the most powerful magnetic fields in the universe. It's far away from us, about 8,000 light years, but it's the closest one like it to Earth. In this video, we'll learn about magnetars like this star and how this particular one woke up. We'll also talk about why this discovery is important for understanding the universe better. Let's explore these interesting topics and find out more about these supermagnetic stars. Imagine stars in space that have magnetic fields much, much stronger than any magnets we have on Earth. These are magnetars. They're really rare and cool types of stars that form when big stars explode. Their magnetic fields are so strong that if they were close enough to Earth, they could mess up data on credit cards. But luckily, they're really far away, thousands of light years away. Magnetars are born from huge explosions called supernovae that happen when giant stars die. When these stars collapse into neutron stars, some become magnetars. But not all neutron stars become magnetars. Specific conditions have to be just right. Scientists think the star's speed of spinning and the type of magnetic field it had before the explosion are really important in making it a magnetar. Magnetars are a fascinating type of star known for their incredible power. They demonstrate this power by releasing bursts of energy in the form of X-rays and gamma rays, which are super strong types of energy. These bursts can illuminate parts of the galaxy, creating spectacular displays in space. They originate from the surface of the magnetar, where the immensely strong magnetic field exerts intense pressure on the star's outer layer. This pressure is so extreme that it causes the star's surface to crack, leading to the release of bursts of energy. These bursts of energy are like cosmic fireworks, lighting up the darkness of space and providing scientists with valuable insights into the nature of magnetars. By studying these bursts, researchers can learn more about the magnetic fields of magnetars and the processes that drive their energetic outbursts. These bursts make magnetars different from regular neutron stars, which send out steady pulses of radio waves as they spin. Regular neutron stars are often seen as pulsars. On the other hand, black holes don't emit any radiation themselves. They're only noticed because of their gravity's effect on nearby stuff. But magnetars, with their powerful bursts of energy, give astronomers direct things to study. They help scientists understand the most extreme conditions that matter can be in, which we can replicate on Earth. That's why figuring out magnetars is so important. They teach us about how stuff behaves in really wild situations. Understanding magnetars is really important for us to learn more about the universe. It lets us test the laws of physics in really extreme situations and helps us figure out what happens to stars, especially after they explode in supernovae. The story of this particular magnetar starts in 2003 when it suddenly started sending out lots of X-rays, catching the attention of astronomers all over the world. It's about 8,000 light years away from Earth, making it one of the closest magnetars we know about. This closeness makes it a great target for scientists to study in detail. At first, it acted like a typical magnetar, shooting out strong bursts of X-rays and something unusual for magnetars, radio waves. But after its initial burst of activity, it went quiet for a long time, which surprised astronomers. This quiet phase lasted for more than 10 years, which is pretty common for magnetars. They can go back and forth between being active and being quiet without much warning. Then, in 2018, it suddenly started sending out radio waves again, breaking its long silence. This was a rare chance for astronomers to see a magnetar waking up again, something that hasn't been seen much before because magnetars are rare and their behavior is hard to predict. Using advanced telescopes like the Lovell Telescope at the University of Manchester and the Parkes Radio Telescope in Australia, scientists were able to watch the magnetar wake up again. 
These telescopes are really good at detecting faint radio signals from faraway objects, so they caught the signals coming from the magnetar as it became active again. Getting to watch a magnetar change like this doesn't happen often, so it's a big deal for scientists. Each burst of energy and quiet period helps us understand more about these mysterious objects. It's like putting together a puzzle about how high-energy stuff works in space and how magnetars change over time because of their super strong magnetic fields. Studying magnetars isn't just about watching them, it's also about testing our ideas about the universe. These objects are like labs in space where we can see how things behave when they're under a lot of pressure thanks to their powerful magnetic fields and explosive actions. Our current knowledge about magnetars comes from how their strong magnetic fields interact with their outer layers. As these magnetic fields weaken over time, they release a ton of energy, heating up the magnetar and causing those bursts of radiation. It's a complicated process that scientists are still trying to understand better. Observing events such as the recent reactivation of a magnetar provides crucial data that refines our theoretical models. Thanks to advancements in computational power and observational technology, we can now simulate the environments around magnetars more accurately and predict their behavior with greater precision. These simulations are essential for understanding the evolution of magnetars and how changes in their magnetic fields impact what we observe from Earth. Furthermore, these advancements allow researchers to explore how magnetars may influence their surrounding space, potentially accelerating particles to near light speeds. This phenomenon could link magnetars to observable cosmic phenomena like cosmic rays and fast radio bursts, expanding our understanding of these enigmatic objects. Looking ahead, integrating magnetar studies into the broader field of multi-messenger astronomy holds promise for uncovering further cosmic mysteries. By combining electromagnetic observations with data from other sources such as gravitational waves and neutrinos, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of these extreme events. Such studies may reveal new insights into the role of magnetars in the universe and their potential connections to other high-energy phenomena like gamma-ray bursts. This rich vein of research not only deepens our understanding of magnetars, but also broadens our knowledge of the fundamental forces shaping the universe. Through the study of these rare and extreme objects, astronomers can refine their theories regarding stellar evolution, the behavior of matter in high-energy environments, and the dynamic processes governing the cosmos. And that's it. Thank you for embarking on this fascinating journey through the captivating mysteries of the universe with me. Today, we delved into the intriguing existence of magnetars and discovered how these cosmic behemoths offer insights into the fundamental workings of nature. It's important to remember that with each discovery we make, we move closer to unraveling the profound questions that science poses. So, let's continue to gaze upwards, remain curious, and challenge the unknown. Who knows what mysteries lie waiting to be uncovered next?